Hey guys, so today is going to be a shortish video basically showing my home, which is Furwood Rise. As you can see here, there's the barn, the house, and the paddock around here, which is all kind of fenced in. Uh, there's lots of wildlife around here. As you can see outside there, there's a few um, wild horses. I'm going to try and not spook them, but they've probably already seen me. Yeah, they've seen me. <laughs> but anyway, so I will leave those alone. I don't want them to get too scared and yeah this is my home um, it's got a lovely view you can see the mountains over there it's kind of a nice temperature it gets cold at night but um, yeah so anyway inside the house if we go in there's boots on the doorstep uh, it's kind of small it's cozy um, I probably could do a bit decorating the wallpaper is definitely looking a bit worse for wear uh, so here's my bedroom and here is the kitchen slash um, hangout area, living area I would say. Um, there's my table where I have my breakfast, lunch and dinner. Over here is everything I need, sink, um, food on the shelves and in my bedroom through here there's everything I need in here as well. Uh, I've got my coats and handbag hanging up here, books that I read bedside cabinet, uh, excuse my bed, it's not made, but <laughs> anyway, so outside, um, around the front here is what you would call the front door, I would say, uh, I mainly just use the other door though, the outside toilet, and here is my new chicken pan, which I just made, and I probably could do with getting some chickens in here to lay me some eggs, and yeah, so hopefully I'll get some chickens soon. Okay, so as it's too dark, I'll wait until morning and then we can uh, get the horses out to show you guys. I actually have 10 horses, so uh, we'll just go through them one by one. Okay, so it's morning time now, it's about 5am and uh, let's just have a little look, make sure I'm not looking too raggedy from a night's sleep. I normally would come through, grab some breakfast, let's have a look at the weather, doesn't look too bad. So yeah, let's head out and wake up the horses. They're probably already awake, but I can tack them all up and uh, have a little look at them. So here's the first horse, her name is Timer. She's nine years old, she's an Appaloosa, Black Leopard Appaloosa. The saddle is the Langa saddle, I think it really suits her. She's mainly trained in trail, pleasure riding and some moderate ranch, I don't really use her for ranch that often but uh, she's been on a few trails and she does really well. She always works hard without complaint, tries her best, she's really sure footed, steady, uh, she doesn't like snakes, really hates snakes so uh, just hold on tight if you do come across one because she will fly away with you or bolt you off. Um, yeah, I just really like her. Look at her face. She's beautiful. Uh, totally in love with this horse. She's got a really nice coat. Love those markings. And I just really think this saddle suits her well. It fits her well. She's comfortable in it. it she's really comfortable to ride. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to work on her muscle tone because she's a little bit unfit. But yeah, so let's pop her back in and we will get the next horse out. I'll just have to turn her around. She probably thinks she's going out on a ride, <laughs> but I'll probably take her out later. And here is Raven. Raven is 10 years old. She's an American Standard Bread, black. Um, that saddle she's wearing is actually called Upman Saddle. It really complements her, her sort of black coat and it's all kind of black and silver there, it really looks good on her. She's mainly trained in hunting, trail and jumping. I haven't done too much jumping, I did one session with her, she was really good. Um, so yeah, I can see why she kind of excelled in that before I got her. She can be quite challenging, she will test her authority quite often, uh, but she can be persuaded out of it. She's normally quiet and hardworking, she's very confident. Um, I've had quite a few stubborn moments from her, but we're working on that for the training. She's a good girl. Um, she was bought at auction. 
So yeah, I got her at auction. I probably paid a little bit too much for her because there was somebody else who wanted her as well and we were bidding against each other. So uh, yeah, I probably paid too much, but I think she's worth every penny. And this boy is Apache. <laughs> he's nine years old, he's a stallion. He's a Missouri Fox Trotter. He's a black Tovero. The saddle he's wearing, I can't pronounce it. It's I can't, <laughs> I'm gonna call it the Nacho saddle <laughs> because I can't I can't pronounce it. But yeah, he's wearing the Nacho saddle. Again, it's black and white, so it kind of suits his coat. He's got lovely little blue eyes just peeking out through his forelock there. He's an all-rounder. He's a horse you could pretty much rely on to do what you want him to do as a daily sort of trail ride. You know, hunting anything. He can do it all. He's very trusting, he's forgiving of mistakes, he doesn't flinch at being tacked up, random noises or things being blown in the wind. Um, there's odd exceptions, you know, no horse is perfect, but he has been around gunfire and he's hunting. Uh, he's, he's a pretty good horse, so I, I really like him a lot. Okay, so this is my naughty boy, he's Dakota, he's seven years old, so he's quite young. He's a stallion, Missouri Fox Trotter. He's a buckskin brindle and he's wearing the Cougar McLennan saddle. As you can see, he's got a lovely white face there. He's mainly been trained in trail and ranch. He's basically just like a little spitfire. He enjoys working. Um, he's fine with predators if you keep him moving, but he just doesn't like being approached too quickly. He will spook. Uh, but overall, he's generally good tempered. He just really has his moments. I bought him off a friend who was having trouble with him and I've spent a little bit of time with him. I could see that perhaps they didn't start him too well, so I started over from the beginning. He still has some hang-ups, but we are working on those every day. Overall, uh, he's just a really, you know, a horse with a lot of potential, basically. Like, I think he will, once he gets a bit older, he will come along really well. And this little lady is Tokala, and we estimate her to be around 10 years old, going by her teeth. Um, we don't know how old she really is because I found her in the woods. She was completely alone and lost, with no owners around to speak of. Um, she's Gypsy Cobb. She's Flashed Bay, wearing a fox moor saddle. She's really sure footed, has a lot of stamina, trusting. She doesn't like people at her rear. She won't kick them, but she will kind of turn. Uh, she's getting better at it, but. She has beautiful blue eyes, once again, I do love the horse's blue eyes. She will steal anything she can from your pockets, she's cheeky. Uh, I just, yeah, worried as to why she was set free, we will never know I guess, but it's such a shame because she's such a beautiful horse and I'm glad that she found her way to me. No idea what happened, maybe the owner got attacked by wolves or something, or I don't know, but she came to me and that's just what I'm happy for. And the next lady is Mona. You may have seen her before in one of my other videos. She's nine years old. She's an American quarter horse. She's also wearing a Nacho saddle. She has a little snip on her face and four white socks. And a lovely... Oh! <laughs> okay, she, she's very clingy. She does like to come up to you and she likes to stay with you. So that's why she just ran up to me there. But yeah, she's um, very quiet. She can be twitchy when she's being shooed. She was a family rider before and she's not been trained in anything competitive. Um, she's great for trail rides and just pleasure riding. Um, she was advertised at the Tumbleweed Stables by an owner that had her for four years, unfortunately unable to keep her any longer. So for a good price I picked her up. She's a very steady horse, has a nice comfortable gait and I just really enjoy having her. She has been a really great horse all the time that I've had her. So I'll just pop her back in and get the next horse, who is Dallas. Uh, Dallas is 11 years old, he's a brown leopard Appaloosa. He is wearing the McKinney saddle, and I use this a lot on trail rides, you can literally hold everything you need on one of these saddles. Um, he's full of beans, he can play up sometimes, he can be grumpy. He's a pretty good worker once he gets over that, but he is a grumpy boy. He just likes to chill in the pasture and not be bothered most of the time. Uh, I won him in a game of poker, which is funny because uh, I wasn't expecting to do that when I started playing the poker game, but I came out of it with a horse. 
and he is very sweet like, <laughs> like following me around but uh, yeah he I'm glad I did win him because he was in a bit of a story state he was bad tempered hated having his face touched uh, we had to work a lot on that because he and we found out it was because he had really bad teeth uh, once we got that sorted, he started to come along quite well. It took a good few months to get him to where he is now. Uh, he can still be head shy, but he is getting a lot um, better with it. Uh, so moving on to Pixie. Pixie is a Dapple Grey Missouri Fox Trotter. She's 8 years old, wearing a light blue Nacho saddle. She's been trained in trail and hunting so far. Uh, she can be naughty or nice depending on her mood. She's got a lovely little pink nose. Um, she's kind of sturdy. She doesn't tolerate stallions at her rear very well. Mares and geldings are fine. She's been known to kick if put under too much pressure. Uh, but once she gets to know and trust you, she turns into a sweet, funny little thing who gets herself into a lot of trouble. I recently acquired Pixie. I was looking for a horse that was easygoing and a friend who had her from a foal and raised her was moving to the city so I was no longer to be able to keep her and having known this horse already I of course bought her. <laughs> Since I have known her she's been great, works well in my herd of horses, she's especially close to Tamer. So the next boy is Coco, he is 8 years old He's a Missouri Fox Trotter. As you can tell, I do like Missouri Fox Trotters. I just think they are a good size, very intelligent. You can do a lot with them. Uh, just an all-round good breed, I think. He's a Palomino coloration, wearing a Panther Trail saddle, which I think complements him quite well. He's got a little white blaze on his face and a pink nose. Very kind of sweet, kind-looking expression on him. He's been training cross-country and hunting and he can be a little bit grumpy sometimes uh, but generally he's okay he's easy going he can react quickly if he's surprised um, he has been known to throw me off and he's just gone if I get attacked by any predators but that's fine uh, he was raised with Apache we stick together like glue and he's basically really well managed because of him overall he is a really good trail horse I, I enjoy taking him out on long rides And last but not least is my boy Domino. He's 10 years old. You may have seen him in my training videos because he is a training horse. He's a Norfolk Roadster. He's wearing the Fletcher saddle and he is a dapple buckskin. He has two pastons on his hind feet at the back there. And he's trained in ranch hunting, trail riding. Uh, he's just such a calm, really good horse. Nothing phases him. He's sturdy, strong, he can handle long rides in the wilderness. He's a bit fidgety when he stands still for too long, but um, yeah, he just prefers to be on the move. He's quite happy to be at pasture with the others though. <laughs> he's very playful. Uh, he can be a bit too strong for novice riders or young riders, but yeah, I use him in my training just because he is a great example of how a horse should be. He, uh, you know, just couldn't wish for anything more really. He's just so great. Probably my favourite horse. Um, I know you're not meant to have favourites, but <laughs> he is uh, just everything that you could hope for in a horse, basically. So yeah, that was all of my horses, and now I'm going to put him back and go on an evening ride. And I think I'll take Raven. So thank you for watching, and that's my home and my horses.